fish right there. Oh, this one feels like a total tanker, guys. A little bigger one. This one feels a little better. We're breading these little guys here. The last one is going in. Some Cheez-Its in here. Oh, oh my, my God. All right, welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another Addicted Life. Just so you guys know, we air these every Sunday and uh, we got a special guest here today. So introduce yourself. Uh, what's up guys, my name's Life, uh, Northwest Fishing Secrets. I just travel around in Washington and like the Northwest with my camper van and catch fish and do catch and cooks and stuff. Nice. Yeah. So we're out here doing a little collab today. We he's down and was doing some fishing and we're gonna get out and do some crappie. And I think our mission today, we're gonna try to do a uh, catch and cook. So our goal is to get some crappie I'm gonna cook one up, he's gonna cook one up, and then of course our uh, food expertise guy over here, Mike, is gonna be the judge. So um, stay tuned, you guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and um, we'll see how this goes. Wish us luck. What? Excuse me. You're in my spot. You low hold me right out of the gate. Shut up. Got one. Oh, don't go anywhere. That might be a keeper. Let's go. Let's go measure him. Let's make sure he's a keeper. And then I'll tell you. So my secret doing the catch and cook with these crappies best thing to do is get them on ice right away get that meat firmed up it's really gonna help um, make them taste a little better and not be mushy so if this is a keeper we'll get it on the ice quick oh yeah Can? yeah so we'll just bonk them really quick that didn't work dude my hands are frozen oh my God. all right here we go we're gonna try this again Sean we'll bonk them really quick on some ice. Done. That's a little crappie there, guys. Look at that. He's probably a little small, so let, let's go ahead and measure him real fast. So he's a little small. He's one inch short. Let's go ahead and get him off the hook. There we go. Alright, little dude. It's a freaking trophy size crappie right there, guys. This is where the money's at. Oh, doubles over there. Not a small one. Oh, small one. About the same size, huh, Clay? Uh, mine's bigger. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, you're scared? Because I was going to see which one was Oh, I already could tell. No, that's fine. All right, you guys, so just a quick update. Me and Mike just got done having a double. And um, we're finally all rigged up. I got my kids out here too. It's a little cold, so they're taking turns uh, fishing <laughs> and sitting in the truck. But um, we've got a couple keepers already and we're gonna keep going to get us some more. So stay tuned. <laughs> Come on, fish. Got him. Oh, oh he's all over the place. Almost lost them. Get another one. Dude, I don't care how much fish you've caught, how many big steelhead you catch. This is the, probably one of the funnest things I've ever done. But I've also never caught a lot of 20 pound steelhead. <laughs> so, uh, we think, think we can do it again? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it came off. You got shrimp on 
yours? Nope, just that darker jig. Gold head with a, uh, like a green pumpkin with flake. Start, starting to heat up. Oh my gosh, look. This is what makes it hard fishing in 20 some degree weather. You see that? Braided lines getting like frozen to the guides. Mike with the book set. Heck yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta pin them. They're just grabbing it and kind of just swimming off with it. Bobber's not even going down. Here we go. That's a bobber down, baby. That's a freaking monster. Oh, oh, this time we saved the shrimp. Yeah, we didn't lose the shrimp this time, boys. But uh, yeah, this guy, there's no way he's nine inches. So we're not even gonna measure him. All right, bye, dude. All the small ones. Ooh, this one's got a little. Oh, look at that sea lion bite on this one. This one's got a sea lion bite taken out of it. Better luck next time with them sea lions, bud. All right, you guys. Mike's getting some pretty constant action over there on his jig color, and I'm tired of watching it, so I'm gonna go make a quick change. We're gonna switch out my old tried and true for maybe something a little darker and see if that uh, makes any difference. Here we go. Let's take that guy off. Mm. Let's try something like that with that red flake. Let's see what that does. Oh my gosh, I can't even feel my fingers. All right, let's give that a whirl, see if that makes all the difference. We'll see. All right, addicts, comment below who you think's Bobber's gonna go down first when we're right next to each other like this, mine or Mike's? What'd you say? Sean, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. I can't even... <sighs> I don't think they had enough time to comment before I caught one. All right, so we might have to do this again. Nah. Dude, these Double. things are tiny. Did you get one? Yeah. Oh. oh <laughs> of course, Sean gets that. Doesn't count. You gonna land any of these fish? We just don't want to A little bigger one. Oh, it's a hog, guys. It's a hog. Dude, that's a 13 incher. I know it. Well, my, minus the 10 inches, but actually, I'm, I'm measuring him. I'm measuring him. Oh, no, he's eight, eight and three quarters. A little small. So close, though. Dude, you are like the luckiest fish in the world. There we go. All right, little dude. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to smack him on his side like that. <laughs> That one was at least 16 inches. <laughs> it was pretty, yeah, it was a little bit bigger. Okay, how many are you at, Mike? I didn't even count. We should start counting. No, we shouldn't, Never mind. Are you sure you want to do that? No. Dude, he had it pretty deep. Just a little guy. Just right when I was thinking of changing up into something else, addicts, and get a bike. This one feels a little better. Fish right there. Jeez. Oh, this one feels like a total tanker, guys. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's not. Yeah, he wasn't a cooker.
Get one, double. I keep thinking I was gonna change up and then I keep getting bit, so I don't know. I'm wondering if it's worth changing up to something different, see if I can get a bigger one. One more, if I get one more dink, I'm gonna change it up. How about that? A little short. It's just my call here. Is he like short or is he right on the button, guys? Oh, he's over. If we go. Dude, he's like right on, dude. Yeah, he's right on nine inches. I mean, like just by a hair, but it counts. Trophy crappie right there. I'll see my crappie record suck. So it doesn't, like, it doesn't take a lot to break my current crappie record. But that's, uh, yeah, that's food. I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to make my crappie burrito. Really? Dude, I'm gonna make like a make delicious burrito. I've got a sick I'm recipe coming. I'm excited too. All right, addicts, sun's come out, dogs are barking, <laughs> and the bite's turned off. So I think I'm gonna just do a quick little change up here. Um, we got, the dogs are really barking, but we're gonna give ourselves about another 45 minutes here or so before we gotta start cooking. So I wanna get some more keepers. I'm gonna go over to get some, uh, see what's in my bag of treats. Come on with me. Okay, so I have, uh, for work, I travel to Oklahoma a lot. And I was there for six months and did a bunch of crappie fishing when I was in Oklahoma. And they use a bunch of different stuff. So I got some things in here from, from fishing in Oklahoma. A bunch of different plastics. But to be honest, the fish there, we're catching two, three pounders. A lot of this stuff I think is too big. I'm wondering, ooh, what do you guys think about switching up, doing something like that? That's a go-to. Yeah, that might be the ticket, addicts. It's that, or something like that. This is small enough. This is, might be too big. What do you guys think? Try something like that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try that secret, secret lure from Oklahoma and see what happens. And I might tip it with one of these. Whew, my hands are frozen. All right, addicts, here we go with my cutie pie, spino fly. It's gonna slay, game changing. And the sun's out. So I got my signature apparel on. Here we go. Okay. Game over, Mike. You got yourself a cutie pie spindle fly? I worry about you sometimes. Okay. You, you don't think that's gonna catch? I don't even know. I might need to add some more weight to this though. I might need a split shot or two. You're not even gonna be able to catch that. Are you? What are you talking about? Probably not. 164 ounce? No. Far enough though. Did you buy that on Amazon or what? You bought that off the Wish app, didn't you? No. Oh my. That's an Oklahoma City special right there. We'll go back to Oklahoma City. That's a fish. Or we're gonna butt flip them. You know, we're gonna like just measure this one, just just in case. You never know. That last one was right on the button. This, if at all, would be close. No, not close, not close. It's just over eight inches, so we're gonna get this little guy back. Beautiful little fish, jeez. There he goes. Oh, there we go, we got someone taking it. Come on, one more time. Oh, he might've taken that shrimp. Oh, there we go, there we go. And that's a fish. Well, it might be a one. Let's flip him again. Oh, that, that's a good crappie, dude. That's, I'm gonna guess keeper right now. I'm willing to like put money on that. I bet you guys like all 75 cents that that's a keeper. Oh, all day long. Yeah, oh yeah, he's, this is, honestly, like th this might actually be my personal best crappie. I'm not even sure, but that very well could be. Heck yeah, man. Keeper? Yeah. Dude, that's probably my PB crappie right there. Nice. Like, I'm embarrassed to say that, but 
nine and a quarter inches. Yeah, baby. All right, you guys. My cutie pie did not come through. So we got about 30 minutes here before we start the cook off. I'm gonna go back to the old tried and true. I'm gonna add some Berkeley gulp maggots. See if that can uh, turn the bite on, and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get the cook on here going in about 30 minutes. If you like this episode so far, what I need you to do is go down, smash that like button, and comment below that you gave it a like. Because what we're gonna do is once we get this video to a thousand likes, we're gonna pick from one of the comments, and we're gonna give away an addicted prize pack. So. Marlon's not here, Marlon doesn't know, but that's uh, the joy of having me and Mike working in the shop. We're gonna put some stuff together and we're gonna mail it off to one of you guys. So make sure, go down, smash that like button and leave us a comment, let us know you did it. Plus tell us how you like this episode so far. Cook that up? I, are, are they okay to keep here? I'll look at the rags real quick. I, I'm not even sure. Can Let's check it out. Catfish? Check this out guys, we just caught a small uh, little hey, bullhead. Oh, oh, he's got little little pricklers yeah, on the he side. Said, yeah. <laughs> Looks like he knows what he's talking. Heck yeah, let's do a catfish catch and cook. Um, so one thing, guys, with catfish, if you've never caught um, any species of catfish, watch out for their. They've got like these spines um, on their. What are the, the are those the pectoral fins or the little side fins there? And they're super super sharp spines. And they usually have one up here too. Um, so kind of a safe way to hold them is actually by these uh, fins and just kind of manage that if they do start wobbling around and you're gonna lose them just let them go because uh, I think they aren't they like coated with a bit of a toxin too or something like it actually hurts yeah, when you barbed. yeah oh yeah they're barbed too so yeah so you don't want to get pricked by these guys as uh, beautiful and cute looking as they are there we go nice and see a beautiful like little pucker like that they're worth a little 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 kiss on the mouth right there All right, you guys, one of the cool things about coming out and camping like this is with my Kong, is I have a bunch of the accessories. So I ended up buying this, which is, this is gonna turn into a nice big cutting board for me. So I got a little work surface there, and I got some more dividers I can throw on over here, so can't do it one handed. All right, so now I got a nice little work surface. I'm out here camping, and I can use this to fillet my fish, and and prep the food, so. And uh, so we got a All right, you guys, usually the longest part of this whole thing is heating this oil up, so. First thing I'm gonna do is get the oil going, and we'll get to battering and uh, showing you my secret recipe for doing this karapi while this warms up. All right, you guys, so I came prepared and I'm taking this competition serious. So I got my flour and uh, mixed this up at home. It's got some Himalayan sea salt in it, some fresh cracked black pepper, and some dried mustard um, powder in my flour, okay? So I'm gonna use my flour. I have fresh eggs. I got chickens at home. They're pumping out eggs. They're a little bit smaller than you get in the store, but I got farm fresh eggs that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna coat them in egg, dip them in the flour. I'm gonna dip them in egg again, and then this is gonna be my secret recipe. Hot and spicy Cheez-Its. I'm gonna crush these up, use them for my breadcrumbs, dip them in that before I fry them. And you know what? If I was smart, I probably should have got the pizza flavor since we know who the judge is. <laughs> oh my God. I'm hoping this will still work. It sounds amazing, dude. I just ate one of those and I was like. Oh dude, it's gonna be good. Yeah, so let's that's get these good. things. I got fresh lemon to go on it afterwards. I'm gonna get some, some Cheez-Its in here. You don't have very big fillets, so I don't think I need very many. Flour, Cheez-Its, egg is next. Isn't the easiest to do. Oh well, Just lick your, ha finger. your hands are gonna get dirty doing stuff like this, Addict. And then usually with your egg wash, usually a little bit of milk or just a dab of water. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. All right, there we go. 
We got our catfish meat, the crappie. Now we're just gonna rinse everything off here real quick. We're gonna wash our hands before we start cooking too. And it's like my favorite addition to my camper van is just having my little outdoor kitchen with some, some running water here. Semi running, I should poke a little hole in that thing. There we go. A couple paper towels and dry those uh, fillets off. All right, you guys. So like I said earlier, one of the secrets is keeping them ice cold. So I wanted to keep them on ice until we're ready to cook here to firm that meat up so it doesn't get kind of mushy. So basically what we're gonna do here is, this is the messy part. So one of the tips I can give you guys is always have a dry hand and a wet hand. So as you're grabbing things and you're mixing them, keep one hand for grabbing dry stuff and one hand grabbing wet stuff. And then that way you don't get completely gooed up. So into the egg wash. And get them all covered in the egg. And then we're gonna go right into our flour. And a tip for doing the flour is not to overload it. Don't put all your fillets in there at once. You wanna just put in a couple and mix them up. They're gonna come out just looking like that. Make sure you get flour all over them. All right. So that's the first coat. Second coat is going to be egg and then into my hot and spicy cheese hits. All right. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm so excited to eat that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, do we have to cook it? You guys need to comment down below if you've ever tried something like this. Forgot one hand needs to stay dry here, guys. The pressure's on, I'm making mistakes. All right, so what we're doing on our end here is we're making uh, fish, like fried fish burritos. So uh, I don't know what they're making over on the other end, but that's what we're gonna do. So we've got some, some tortillas here, we got some cheese, we got some bargain bin, like kale salad that we're gonna mix in. Um, and then like one more thing that I've always wanted to try, this is QP mayonnaise. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but apparently this stuff is just, so, um, all right, right where were we at? We're breading these little guys here. All right, we're gonna start just throwing them in too. Over here trying to get in on your action, he's peeking. Oh, oh, was that Clint peeking over? Yeah, there? I told him to get out of here. Unbelievable. No, go. What's going on nothing. over here? There's nothing going on. You can't see it. We don't have any fish over here. All right, come here, Sean. I want to show them another quick tip. All right, you guys. So when you're out, and everyone always wonders how how hot do I need my oil, or is it good? So one way you can test your oil to make sure it's the right temperature before you start cooking is you can just add, so my fingers are all gooped up, but if you just add a little bit of your stuff to your oil, and if it browns within 30 to 40 seconds or so, then your oil's at a good temperature to start cooking in, so. Oh yeah, that's happening. All right, the last one is going in. Now we're gonna get that catfish in here in a second too. They're looking good. So we're gonna make two burritos. We're gonna make like one crappie burrito and then one catfish, a catfish burrito. See, we have one edge on uh, Clint too, and that's that we've got a couple species here. So two species is better than one, right? You got another uh, edge on we he decided his oil was too hot, and so he dumped some out and then added cold oil back to it. Now the oil is not even hot enough to cook. Oh, dude. Now he's just over there screwing up. <laughs> he hasn't even started cooking yet. Down over here. Yeah, just take your time now. Well, you gotta eat one at a time anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I thought my oil was a little too hot, so I swapped it out or I added more cold stuff, and now it's not. Remember how I showed you to check your oil temp? Now it's too cold. <laughs> it's all right, I'm taking this. 
taking this serious. <laughs> oh, look at your kid even is like, just like you're an idiot. I almost overcooked some, so almost, yes. yeah. I, yes. I mean, you might have an edge. That's what I mean. You got look at those. Those yeah. ones are looking good. Though. Yeah. So I have some. Damn it! I'm trying to distract those. So up. tell me about some of the ingredients that you're using. You don't want to know my ingredients. I All I know is I don't have self-raised like eggs. Uh, I used to have chickens, but I don't anymore. Yeah. I got farm fresh chicken or eggs. That's right. I don't, I don't like the taste salt, of farm fresh yeah, eggs. I, I do have the Danish sea salt, so you know, that's that's came over right there. Yeah, we're looking good. I think we're looking mighty fine on the fish here. We're gonna... Oh, he is rocking oh, yeah. on that breading. Okay. You know what that breading is? So here's a here's a quick tip too. When you're always putting something in the fryer, put it in and drop it in away from you. Oops, not like that. Away from you. Don't splash oil up on yourself. Oh, you smell that? Smell. You can smell those. Cheese it. Mm. I'm all about that tortilla style. Spicy cheese. Spicy. I mean, he's got the deal of it. He's got the mayo. I didn't know we were gonna and make a burrito. It just depended on how much effort you actually wanted to put into this, Clint. And so we'll just see. You know how much thought and effort I put into all my ingredients? Yeah, get whatever was left on the shelf and put it on a piece of fish. <laughs> Maybe. Looks pretty good. Nuggets. That looks good. It looks pretty good. All right, so we just heated up this tortilla and we got some nice hot cheese in the middle. This is what's gonna win this competition, guys. Just gotta when when you're doing a food competition, you gotta think like a foodie, you know. So then what we'll do is throw on just a little, whether he likes kale or not. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark here. Throw on a little bit of little bit of green, not too many, because we're unsure about you know, how much he likes them. So. Uh, then what are we gonna start with? We're gonna, we'll give him crappie. We'll start him out easy. Actually, no, we'll do a, we'll do a 50-50. We'll do a catfish crappie. Burrito. Burrito. Okay, now we're gonna try this QP mayonnaise. I've never, never even heard of this stuff until recently. There we go. Oh, hey, is that Japanese mustard you're using too? It's, I think it's like Korean mayo or Japanese mayo or something. It's the QP mayonnaise. Oh, look you, at you busting all the stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's, it's game over, man. All right, guys. So I just got both of the dishes that I'm going to be uh, judging. So we've got the burrito with catfish and crappie. And then we got the deep fried crusted spicy Cheez-Its um, crappie. So... We're gonna go ahead and oh, oh, wait. see what I can do. Hang on, there's uh -oh. more, hang on. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Oh, he's got a lemon. Hang on, I almost forgot like the most important part. Oh. <laughs> Roll your lemon to get the juice. All right. Oh yeah, this is happening right here. Oh, here we go. You ready? Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's good, we got some overspray on the burrito there. Yeah, he I might saw have helped that. you out a little bit. He helped me. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the nuggets first. That looks really good. Okay. Ready? That's pretty interesting. Super crunchy. I'm gonna try one. A little soft still. Is it? The meat's little, but they, it's not firm. You know, it's not firm meat, so. Pretty good. Pops. <laughs> okay, so this side is crappie, this side's catfish. And we're gonna give a bite to each. Let's see the catfish first. I haven't eaten much catfish in my life. Dude, that mayonnaise is incredible. Oh, is it actually? I've never had it before. I've never had that QP mayo. It's actually, I saw it from another YouTuber. Dude, whatever you breaded that with is... It's the Louisiana fish fry products. You, 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 you can't, it's hard to beat. I mean, he went with a store-bought one instead of like making up his own. Hey, you know what? I went and harvested chicken eggs From your this. backyard. I okay. harvested chicken eggs at Walmart. <laughs> We're gonna go with the crappie on this side. Oh, oh, oh. crappie. I don't know, man. <laughs> you, have this, to, you have to decide. 
This isn't just because I really don't like Clint. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go with the burrito. The crust on that burrito, dude, fire. The melted cheese, the kale. I heard you say you didn't want to put too much because you didn't know if I like it. Yeah, yeah. That crunch with the, in it there, the kale. a little bit of green yeah. stuff in there, right? Dude, I think you did it. You got it for sure. Leif is the winner. This is unbelievable. Un freaking real, guys. But I haven't even had it though yet. I will say There's he more has you, right? done uh, more catch and cooks than I have. This is my first catch and cook. I thought so. you were pretty confident about this. Though. I'm, I'm good at cooking, not doing catch and cooks. Oh, that last second catfish, dude. Oh, dude, the last was second it? catfish. So, okay, wh now I'm curious. What do you like more, the catfish, the catfish or the? Tastes better. Oh, you like the catfish yeah. more? It feels firmer. Interesting. Very and I don't, I don't really like the softer meat fish. Got it. So Got it just it. feels, feels firmer. Well, this just means I'm gonna have to go up to his neck of the woods for a rematch. Oh, a rematch. We can have fierce mm -hmm. rematches on like all sorts of species, maybe. I don't know, maybe we can well, think can of some. He can only catch crappie, so that's gonna be tough. <laughs> he can only catch crappie. No, we'll put him on some weird He's stuff. He's giving yeah. me a hard time. Oh, I want to like cook some 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 weird stuff, guys. We could cook some really weird yeah. type of fish. Let's do it. Think of some, I don't know. Maybe you guys have an idea for something that uh, the addicts can go for and cook up for y'all. Yeah, we'll, you guys uh, should leave a comment one, yeah. down below and let let us know what what you guys want to see us cook. We'll see if we can get out and do some of it. That's a good idea. All right, thanks guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, episode of Addicted Life. We had a great day. We were successful. We were able to actually come out, catch some keepers. Yep. Did actually a, a catch and cook competition. Which, yeah. Which you lost, by the way. I just want to make sure everyone out there knows that. All right, well now, now I'm challenged <laughs> to step my game up for the rematch. But for those of you that don't know, this is uh, Life. Check out his channel, Northwest Fish and Secrets, right? Northwest Fish and Secrets. All right, and we'll put we'll put links down below, but make sure go on over there, check out his channel, subscribe, give him a post or a comment, let him know that Addicted sent us or sent you so he knows where his new subscribers come from. But as always, you guys, make sure you subscribe, smash our like button. Like I said, if you guys get this to a thousand likes, we're gonna go ahead and give away a prize pack. But we had a great day. We're able to get Mike and my kids out here and we had a blast fishing. So till next time, guys, see you on the water. See ya.